There we go, one second ticked over. Ah, this video is gonna be highly controversial. I would like to point out a hypocrisy. There's a bunch of people screaming BLM, Black Lives Matter. Incidentally, and in correlation with this new political party that has emerged as a toxic parasite, the only rioters and looters that are being shown on the news are black people. Just let that sink in for a few minutes. Supporting train of thought here. If BLM equals true, then why doesn't the correlating data of uh, black people trying to help make the world better equal also true? Instead of rioting and looting. Or is it some media scandal where they're trying to paint black people as criminals. Kind of like how they did a while back in the, what, the 60s through the 80s? So what are they going to repeat next, if that's the case? Are they going to start saying stuff about hippies being a terrorist because drugs are bad? Are they going to rehash the whole happy-go-lucky, feel-good war on drugs? Is that it? Incidentally, out of all of the... <laughs> out of all of the traditional news sites that are still very much alive and not dead, that have moved over to YouTube and strong-armed legitimate creators of whatever content basically off the platform like they uh, took pot shots at pewds with gaming and then that snowballed it's still going it never stopped if what they're reporting is true and there's no so-called white people going off and raiding and looting and pillaging and all that nonsense. There's a few extra words I could have threw in there. If it's just the black people doing that, why the hell would a political party called Black Lives Matter and then a, an extreme contrast of them going off Raiding, looting, and pillaging like what's being shown. Fuck off, train. Why would that be brought up? There's a couple of different options. There's a couple of different answers. And right now, I don't have all the variables of the equation, so... I'm not going to conclude with anything other than there's options here. There's the option that it's a big media hoax, scandal, whatever you want to call it, orchestrated by the top 0.1% that own all the corporations that own the entire planet. There's the option that these people are just being bitches for the sake of attention. There's the option that it's a rehash of racism from early America. Just being recycled. There's more than just those three options. Oh, great. This one's going slow. Fuck off! Mm. I'm gonna 
gonna get such a headache from this one. <clears throat> Quite honestly, for me, every answer or possibility in this equation seems to have equal probability of being true right now. That's concerning for me. Because it has to be it has to be a definitive thing. It's so ambiguous. There's so many possibilities and they all have equal probability. Which is annoying. At least he didn't toot all the way through. That would have been highly upsetting. Which is a bitch when I'm trying to lay down and rest. But anyway. You could say it's some Illuminati nonsense. You could say it's the media being racist. You could say that these black people are just whinging on attention. You could say that there's, at minimum, two separate groups of black people. The ones that don't give a fuck, who are just going off being bitches because they can, and then the ones in the political party who actually give a fuck about what they're saying. Granted that all of these possibilities are true to a certain extent, it's the truth that I'm finding them all equal in probability across the board that is annoying to me. In all the time I've observed psychology and calculated variables in chaos theory and all of the equations that run through my mind, including Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, which oversimplified basically means can we ever really know anything? It's a question when you oversimplify it, not an, not an answer of resoluteness. It's basically a simplification of chaos theory. They are very similar. I will rack my fucking brains out trying to figure this one out if I sit here thinking about it. <laughs> that, that would be a waste of everyone's time. You know what? Just consider it food for thought. Also, here's one thing that I would like to point out that you can take away from this whole video as a resolute. Because I find, mathematically, all the possibilities across the board completely equal. And in conjunction with the uncertainty principle. You, whoever you may be, you shouldn't view all black people under the Black Lives Matter label. Nor should you view all of them under the um, terrorist or rioters, looters, and uh, what's that other word they use? Ah, fuck it. Fuck the word. I can't remember it right now. You shouldn't view or judge people with those absolutes. Kind of like how if you take a look at a lot of the videos I make, I'm all over the fucking place. I've not pinned down to any one type of thing that I talk about or do. Within the means by which I have to do things. If I had the resources and materials, I would be doing do-it-yourself stuff. 
would work. Uh, probably not computer programming. C++, let me summarize that one. Logic is a really complicated logic. It's mind-numbing. Not really for me right now. Anyway. The major thesis or consensus of what I've said in the last few sentences is quite simply a reiteration of a very old phrase. You should never judge a book by its cover. And I, I could go on with synonyms for that. I could point to historic references for the at least the last 3,000 years. But, fuck that. You've probably got other videos on YouTube you want to watch. And other things you want to be doing. Okay, here, stay out of my face for a minute. So, till next time. That's Vidanya.